welcome to a combination padlock that I received from Logmania in a today's package. Pretty cool, so buddy, thank you very much for the lock. On the label it says fun challenge for you my friend, combo is underneath this sticker here. Please decode me. Well, I have to admit that I did decode this lock right out of the package, but I didn't pay attention to where the wheels went, so I have no idea about the combination. And yeah, so I want to repeat this on camera together with you. Logmania was curious to see how a combination padlock like this can be taken apart and so I will try to do this on that lock so we can afterwards see what's inside. So let's decode it. I pull on the shackle and test the wheels. This wheel is spinning freely, not binding much. Next wheel also. I can feel a little bit on the shackle coming out and in again, but no resistance on a specific number here. So no valuable information from that wheel. The second wheel, not much, maybe here. Ah, the first one is binding and it stopped here at 4. Then maybe 7. Let's check the third wheel. It's spinning freely, so no specific number where it jumps in. So that tells me that we have got false gates in this lock. This is pretty tight. This is somewhat loose, but maybe it's loose because it's not binding. I believe this is a binding wheel, so uh, it comes out very easily out of this gate, although I pull on the shackle. And you've heard it. And now it's not coming out of the shackle anymore. I think this number is the right one. Check the second. Oh, it pulls in the shackle when I'm turning it around that number. And now it's coming out again. It's pretty loose. So let's assume that this is the right number. Hey, and it jumped in and we have already an open. All right, so that was the decoding of this lock. Now let's see if we can open it up. To open up these locks we have to pull out this cap here. Um, depending on the lock it is easy or hard to get this cap off. I will just try it with a um, pair of pliers here. Just the lightning a little bit. I grab it and tr see if I can twist it and pull it. It's pretty tight. I think I have to clamp it in a vise and continue. Let's do that. All right, it's clamped in a vise and I try to use my screwdriver to pry this out. Let's see if this works a little better. Does not look like. <clears throat> Oops, the cap is off. That was pretty easy. In the vise it's much better than just holding it in the hand. Okay, I'll pull it out of the vise, adjust my camera angle and then I'll be back. Alright, so here's the lock. Uh, with the cap off. I have to pull out the shackle but therefore I need to know the combination. So as a lazy person I just look it up, see if this is the right code. It's 1945. I think that's the indicator line. One nine Four and five. Shackle should come out, yes. And now I think I should be able, get this out of the way, should be able just to pull it out. This lock is not playing nicely with me. Okay, I'm a step further. 
I had used my other pair of pliers to forcibly pull on the shackle and now it came out of the... Oops! Oh, here we go! <laughs> so that's the shackle with the inner wheels and here we can see the teeth or keys. I think technically these are called keys but I say teeth. <laughs> so these are the inner wheels, the coat wheels um, with the with the teeth. Then we have yeah, the outer wheels and a lot of other stuff. Uh, let's wow. <laughs> let's look at uh, these outer wheels. You can see they have little spikes, and with these spikes, you can turn the inner wheels. And if you change the coat, the uh, position of the inner wheel uh, of the outer wheel is like so, so that you can turn the outer wheel without turning the inner wheel, and then it comes back to this position where it's um, connected again. So that's the way how you change the coat. Then we have um, metal balls here, barbarians, and usually, yeah, you can see there are springs inside these chambers here. These barbarians um, are located next to the spring and they push against the wheel so that they make click, click, click sound when you turn them and they fall into this little groove here so they then uh, like to stay um, at a number and not in between. Yeah, and here is the inside of the housing. We should be able to see true and false gates. Let me, let me um, change my light so we can see the true gate on the left hand side and maybe no false gate. I felt hmm. I felt a, another gate here. I can't see another gate here. Let me quickly check off camera and I'll be back in a second. All right, looks like that this lock has no false gates by design. You can clearly see the true gate here on the left and from the other side there is no visible mark of a false gate. But I think wear uh, has caused some imperfections on the surface here on this edge. And I can detect this with my pick. When I scratch on this edge yeah, I can feel that it stops here. And I think this can be considered to be a false gate by wear, so long time using this lock has made it a little bit more difficult, a little bit more fun to decode. Pretty cool. Yeah, was a fun lock to play with and um, yeah, decoding and gutting <laughs> and exploring it. Ah, by the way, look at the shape of these outer wheels. They are not all of perfect round shape. So this is quite good. Um, that's also quite good. That's also quite good. But this <laughs> is kind of an oval oval shape. I don't know if this was like that um, in the beginning. Um, oh, maybe I have caused this by putting it in a vise. Ah, I will fix that. <laughs> okay. So, Lockmania, thank you very much again for sending this lock to me and also all the other goodies that you sent to me. By the way, I can show it to you. He sent a personal challenge lock um, for my pleasure, Party 314, pinned by Lockmania. Look at that, it's an S. Uh, I'm anxious to try that. And some more uh, comp, comp picks. Pretty cool. So, Lockmania, thanks again for all the great stuff and everybody else. Thank you very much for watching, happy picking and bye-bye.